Hello everybody. In this episode, I'm going to be talking about our single handle tub shower rough-in valve. Now, I'm going to try to be quick and simple here because if I were to if I were to do a whole episode on this valve, all the way from talking about the parts to the rough end to finally putting the trim on, we'd probably be here for a while and I don't want to bore the fool out of you. So I'm just going to kind of cover the basics on these different types of valves. Now we do residential new construction. So everything I've got here is new stuff. Uh, we don't really see a whole lot of those old three handle valves. You can still get them but they're not really that popular anymore. Some people do ask for them though. But um, I've got an assortment of valves here and these are the ones that are the most popular for us. We do use some other ones, but these are so popular that we actually stock them here uh, at our warehouse. So the first one I've got here, uh, this is your Delta valve. Now, Delta's really neat um, because you can put a different cartridges in here to do different things. You got your standard cartridge and then there's a um, thermostatic cartridge that you can set the temperature and leave it set and you basically just turn it on and off and you're not adjusting the temperature where this is kind of your old style where you go cold to hot. So these are pretty neat but as you can see this does not come with a cartridge. Your cartridge is going to come at trim. It's just a test cap. Uh, a lot of your other valves they come with the cartridge already in them uh, and you can't really put any fancy cartridges in there or anything. But this is your Delta uh, and I actually I have another one here because this one is already PEX ready. It's already got your PEX uh, adapters made onto it and then you can come out the top and the bottom with uh, whatever you want to. Uh, the first one I had here, this one is just your uh, it's just threaded, your half inch threads there. So you can do anything you want to with this one. You can use CPVC, um, you can use copper, uh, and then of course PEX, where this one is set up just for that PEX pipe. So, well that's your Delta, and we're gonna talk more about what some of these little things are. Uh, the other one that I've got here that's pretty popular with us, this is a Peerless valve. Now, for those of you who don't know, Peerless is a sister company to Delta. This is more of a builder grade valve. It's a little cheaper than these, um, but as you can see, it's all made together and ready to go for you. Uh, now, if you were gonna be doing any sweating, you're gonna wanna take this uh, cartridge out of here because you don't wanna get that valve body hot and actually melt something inside of there. Uh, I have been on a couple service calls where that did happen and uh, they had solder all up in the valve and it wouldn't, you couldn't turn it on. But that's your Peerless, sister company to Delta. Uh, and then another one of our real popular ones here, this is our Moen valve. And as you can see, it's got its own little cartridge. Everybody has their own technology uh, and I'm gonna get into that with the Delta because Delta's been using springs and seats for years and they still use springs and seats. Uh, <clears throat> But this is your mowing valve. It's got its own little cartridge. Uh, and that's another thing. These are all pressure balanced valves, which if you were to say, go turn the water off on your water heater to where you don't have any pressure coming into the hot side, this valve is not going to open up and work. It's got a little, little thing in there that slides back and forth that balances the pressure. And it's pretty neat. Uh, and I'm going to get into that when we uh, take this thing apart. The next one I've got, and this one's kind of a new one for us, uh, this company used to be called Price Fischer. Well, they dropped the price, well they kept the P, but they dropped that rice part or whatever. And now it's a, a Feister, Fister, Fister I think they call it, uh, but it's still, it's Price Fischer. Uh, and this one's a little bit different. <clears throat> Uh, it does have its own cartridge in here. And again, these valves all have their own trim. You can't put a Moen trim on a Delta valve. Now, exception to that is, uh, Peerless does make trims that will go with a Delta valve, but they're sister companies. So uh, they like to work together. Now you can't do it, you can't put a Delta on a Peerless valve. Uh, it doesn't work that way. And you do have to actually buy the Peerless trim that says it's for the Delta valve because you get your cartridge in the trim box. It doesn't come with the rough end stuff. All right, so um, that's a basic overview of our valves here. Uh, 
are parts. Well, of course, you know you're going to have a cartridge in there. And this is what your handle is going to go on. It's what's going to regulate that hot and cold coming through the valve. Uh, Delta, like I said, doesn't come with it. This is neat. Some plumbers really like this because the water uh, is going to mix in here. Hot and cold is going to mix in here. And when you're doing your test, you, uh, you don't have to loop out your water heater at your test. With a Delta valve with no cartridge in it, it's going to pressurize the hot side and the cold side as well when you're doing your test. So just remember that. I know that was something that a lot of old plumbers really liked. Uh, the next thing you notice is these things have these plastic cages around them. And they look kind of bulky and weird, uh, but they actually have a lot of purposes. And all of your rough-in valves are going to have something like this. This, first off, this is a depth gauge for your tile. Uh, or when you're doing your backing, you can kind of use this to gauge it. Uh, pretty much you're going to put this in the wall and the tile guy's going to tile up to this face plate and uh, you'll have your valve depth right when you go to put your trim on there. Uh, the other thing this does is it's, a, it's like a screw guide. Um, if you've ever tried to screw a trim plate in on a valve that didn't have one of these, it's kind of a trying to get it out of there. It's kind of a pain because you got to hit that little bitty hole with a screw that's about that long and you got to wiggle and look and try to catch right there. If you've got this guy, it actually has little pilots for you that's going to help you hit that hole. Um, it makes it really easy on the trim guy uh, if you leave these on here. The other thing this does is if you're dealing with a fiberglass tub shower unit, um, it will squeeze as you crank those screws in on your trim plate it will squeeze these two pieces together and it actually will clamp itself to that wall I've had a couple instances on service or warranty where uh, I had to take the screws out of the backing uh, and kind of let this valve float around so I could work on it while I couldn't get the screws back into the backing luckily they'd left this little plastic uh, depth guide and I could clamp it by running those screws down, clamp it to that tub shower wall, and it was there. It wasn't going anywhere. Um, so that's something to remember. Now, we recommend you screw these into a backing, especially at rough end. You're going to pretty much have to, or that thing's just going to flop around all over the place on you. But like I said, they've all got them. They've got a couple functions. I recommend keeping them. Now, something that I just noticed, Delta used to have a little cup that went around here, and that was to keep... Uh, paint and sheetrock mud off of it because you don't know what happens after you rough in a house to the time you get back to trim it out. Who, who knows? They paint these things. They spray stuff all over them. Uh, but Delta has decided to get rid of that little piece of plastic because on a Delta valve, you're going to take this off and you're going you're gonna to chump that and, and you're going to put your cartridge in there. So I guess they figured there was no real point in it. Plus, most of you rough-in guys just pop that little cup off and chunk it anyway. Uh, but <clears throat> a lot of your other guys still have the little cup on here. Now, these you don't just pop off. You have to have, hit it with a hammer. There was one on this one. Uh, I don't know where it went to, but it's a cover that goes over that. And that's to protect your valve from paint and sheetrock mud and whatever else could happen in between rough-in and trim-out when you're not there paying attention to it. So uh, if you have this type, when you come to trim it out, you're going to have to knock that thing off and you'll have your valve stem right there for you, ready to go. Um, and they've all, like I said, they've all got them. And some of them are screwed in here and you have to take the screws out. Uh, and sometimes you have to take those screws out and trim. I think the Peerless was the one that you actually, those are... Yeah, this is a peerless trim. There's the screws, and the screws are actually in the wrong holes for some reason. I, so you have to take the screw out uh, to put your thing in there, and this will float around on you when you do that. Um, now, the other thing is, these valves are all marked um, with a, it says up. I think this one says tub on it. Oh, it's on the. <laughs> it's on the uh, knockout thing here. Uh, it says uh, tub. Yeah, it's, it's on there too. But anyway, they are have they have to go a certain way. They have to go up and down because 
it's going to come out the tub and then you'd have your diverter valve which sends it up to the shower if you flip it up the other way it's not going to work uh, plus hot's on the left cold's on the right one of these valves and i don't know which one it was i think it was the mono which one was it well one of them actually says hot and cold on it i thought that was kind of funny because if you put it with the up mark up or the tub mark down you don't really have to worry about which side's hot and cold. Which one was it? Well, I just had to cut myself off there because I kind of started rambling a little bit. I wanted to show you this. This is a custom shower layout that I did uh, about a year ago. Um, these are Delta valves, and these actually do still have their little plastic uh, cups, their little paint guards or dust covers or whatever. Um, now, this being a shower, uh, a tub, would have a spout, a copper spout coming out down here. But on a shower, you're just gonna cap this bottom piece off uh, because you're not using that lower part. And then you've got your hot on the left and cold on the right coming in. Now, if this was just a standard shower, this would be your shower riser going up to that single shower head. But this being a custom shower, it actually has three shower heads on it. And that's what this guy is. It's very similar to the Delta valve, it's just a lot smaller and it has its own unique cartridge. These things can do uh, two, I mean, yeah, two shower heads or three functions, or they can do three shower heads with six functions. Uh, they're pretty neat. And on this setup, um, I do have a regular shower head, a riser going up for my regular shower head, and then I've actually got four body sprays here. I don't think you can see these ones at the bottom. Uh, and then they're in a pressure balanced loop is what's running around here. Uh, it, it probably looks kind of confusing, but once you've done it a few times, uh, it, it makes a lot more sense. This is the back side of a tub shower unit. This is uh, just kind of showing you how the backing works on your rough end valve. Here again, we have hot and cold coming in. Hot's on the left, cold's on the right coming into your valve. Now, when you're doing that, always remember that's how you're looking at the fixture. We're behind the fixture, so it's not this way. It's this way with your hot on the, cold, hot on the left, cold on the right. Now, uh, different on a tub than on a, uh, a shower, you're gonna have a tub spout, and it's this copper piece here. Uh, it's pretty rigid. They're pre-made for you. They screw in. You can get the kind that you sweat in. Uh, you can make these yourself, but you don't want to use this PEX uh, for a tub spout because it's flimsy and your tub spout will be flopping all over the place. This gives you a good, hard, rigid support for your tub spout. And as you can see on this one, there's your riser coming up out of the top to run that shower head. Here's our Delta valve cartridge and I just wanted to kind of take this guy apart and show you what's going on in here. You hear that pressure balancing thing jumping around in there? Well, you can take this apart by simply twisting it and it pops apart. This is your valve seat, which is what your handle uh, will move that those little um, holes around to uh, let the water flow come in and out and they work off of springs and seats. Uh, this is Delta technology. See if I can get it to focus on me. Uh, this is old Delta technology. Delta's been using these little springs and seats for years and years and years, and they still use it in their cartridges. So sometimes uh, if you're trying to save some money or something and you don't want to pay uh, for a whole brand new cartridge, these springs and seats are really, really cheap. And if you've got a leak in shower valve and it's a Delta, it might just be uh, these little seats have wore out or they're tore or cut or they dry rotted uh, so just remember that you can buy these little springs and seats and they're pretty cheap and get a whole pack of them versus buying this whole valve cartridge which can be pretty uh, expensive now uh, the next thing would be this does come apart it's probably gonna give me a hard time there we go uh, it pops apart inside of here um, these things used to be all metal but it looks like they're using a little bit of plastic now because everything has to be that uh lead free. Uh, that's your little slide piece that's going to move back and forth. And it was pressure balanced. So um, if someone was to say flush a toilet on you, this thing is going to slide more over to that cold side. And it's going to keep that temperature the same. 
Uh, somebody that turned a sink on, to, on you, it's gonna slide over. It's gonna let more hot in or let more cold in depending on what those pressures are doing. It's a pretty neat thing, um, but these things are really simple and there's lots of O-rings and stuff in here that can go bad. And like I said, all these can be replaced. Uh, you may not need a whole cartridge when you can just replace a couple valves, or I mean springs and seats. Uh, the other thing on these is these back ends, there is uh, a little check valve, and it's just like a little mushroom flap or door that uh, is pushed open by pressure, and then if water were to ever try to go back, it slams shut. It's just kind of a little backflow prevention. Um, a lot of your faucets and stuff have those backflow preventers in them nowadays. But that's it, it's pretty simple. Um, most of your valves also have um, a scald guard. The Delta ones is pretty easy. You pull it and turn it and set it. Uh, it does say hotter and colder. Uh, you turn it in whatever direction to get it hotter or colder. Well, that's going to do it for this episode. Uh, just a rough overview of our rough in valves. Um, just remember you can take that Delta valve apart and go in there and see if you can figure out what's wrong with it. A lot of the other valves you're not going to be able to do that too. They're a little bit harder, a little more complicated. They all do the same thing, but with some of the other valves you're probably just going to want to buy that cartridge if you do have a leak in shower. Uh, and I know some of that rough end stuff with all the water lines probably look pretty crazy, but once you get to doing this stuff, it really starts making sense. So, hope you enjoyed this one. Thanks a lot, guys.